I have made this video because many people have said that parts of this theory are similar to stories in religion. The reason for this could be that this theory is explaining a deeper concept of time, taking the moment of now out of the subjective world and explaining it as part of a physical process. We know a great deal about the mechanisms of physical reality, but nothing about the nature of our immediate experience. Science can explain the wavelength of blue light, but says nothing about the experience of a glorious blue sky. So what is the missing connection between our understanding of the physical and our stream of conscious awareness? Einstein used to ask the question, what kind of universe would God create? There is nothing wrong with this question, as long as you base your research on logic, reason and experiments. This theory has come to the conclusion, shared by many spiritual traditions, that consciousness is a universal in all of physical existence. That an interactive process between the light of the electromagnetic spectrum and the atoms of the periodic table have evolved to form the depth and richness of conscious awareness. Each one of us is always in the moment of now, in the centre of our own reference frame, being able to look back in time, in all directions, at the beauty of the stars. This can be explained as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. Such a geometrical process would form three-dimensional space with entropy or disorganization, with the potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the immense complexity of intelligent life. This dynamic geometry will also form our mathematical systems with the potential for ever more abstract mathematics. When we push our mathematics to its limits, it leads not to a stagnant certainty like 2 plus 2 equals 4, but to an unbounded creativity and diversity that is only possible out of uncertainty. The uncertainty of an emergent future, with creation in the eye and the hand of each individual life form.